Right, well that's part of the metal cleared up. Those of you that watch my Instagram will already know that I chucked on fridge and come on up. Fridge and tumble dryer, neither of which are that heavy. So they're all going, oh you'll hurt your back, you'll do this, you'll do that. Well, yeah, okay. Fair cop, but it needed doing. And they were just gonna watch me do it anyway, so I thought I might just as well get on with it. Right, I put the drone in there just in case anything is going on down the farm because they disked it yesterday. Apparently Red has got a brand new set of rolls. I haven't seen them yet, but it's always interesting to know what Reg has bought. Because he... He always seems to have something new about the place. Right, you're going to go and see your busy mate, Squeak. You love Squeak, don't you? No, you don't. No. Driven down the lane, I caught sight of one of the fields. It doesn't look like the road has been out yet. Um, but you never know, maybe he started this end, or maybe he's not doing it all today. Not been out there. Nose test on here. If anything, it smells a little bit fishy. It's kind of reminds me of the seaside. Is that where the seaside smell comes from? It's not the sea, it's all the crap that we pump into it. Faint hit a hint of crab there, I think. Anyway, it is all disked up, it's all turned in. Should we go have a look? Actually, let's go and have a look, shall we? You could do with a two second run out, right? Yeah. It's buried. I mean, at the end of the day, this was spread. I mean, not really thick with um, turds, but it was it was spread on your. You could definitely see it on top, but that's the first bit I spotted. It's true. That's why it didn't smell so bad because it's basically been buried. Okay, so yeah, so phase two of this, as I understand, is Reg is going to come out and roll it. Uh, that is as much as anything else to retain the moisture uh, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, out with the drill, in with the rape, roll it again, at least once. He did say he'd probably roll it twice. Uh, right. You better not be rolling in that. What have you found? Nothing too serious, hopefully. Oh. Got a passenger. Right. Well, it is Sunday morning, so time to go and see your old man and drink his coffee. Well, I can see the cattle. They're out under the beech trees, and they look quite content. I'm not going down there, because Father will have already been down and looked at him. Should have done, anyway. What? I haven't got any, I've told you. Right, that's it. Coffee is consumed. Father's okay. Now, his next job is to go and pick up Elder's daughter again because she's too idle to walk the one mile. It's like 18 minutes from her flat to our house. And it's nearly all downhill. But she'd rather I give her a lift. What's your okay, biscuit? Hey. Idle. 
not even an unpleasant walk, it's a really nice walk. There she is. Come on, Biscuit, come in here. Come in here. Uber. Biscuit, come on. Get up. Just sit on it. I will, I will. Any time today. Oh, are you in a hurry? No. Yeah. You're dragging your feet, that's all. Look how tall you are now. I was already tall. Right. Almost the same height as you. I'll make that five inches shorter than me. Hang on, how tall do you think you are? 5'11". I, I don't think you are anymore, Dad. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I think you may have shrunk a little bit. <laughs> These are like to walk his dog I'm too. I'm sorry. <laughs> you tell her, Biscuit, you tell her. Don't you say anything about my dad. <laughs> I'm probably taller first thing in the morning than I am when I go to bed. Well, everyone is. All that compression. Oh, everyone is. Because yeah. you're, when you're lying flat, your uh, discs hydrate. Do they? Yes. Okay. Therefore, they expand. Do they? That's why at the end of the day, you always have to adjust your mirror. I know. You've, sh you've shrunk a little bit. Nah. <laughs> nah. No shrinkage on me. If anything, I've got some swelling. Button, <laughs> oh, pollen is strong today. Pollen? Yeah. Oh. Or you're just snotty? No, it's just, as soon as I left the flat, I was like, Oof. Oh, right, okay. Should have taken anti histamine. <laughs> ah, you'll be alright, you'll survive. When did you start your new job? I don't know, I haven't been given a start date yet. Oh, have you Waiting on um, DBS checks and all that. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. Make sure you're not a burglar or a murderer. Make sure you're, you're, you're I'm, I'm a good person. Oh, I can tell him what that. Oh, you sweetheart. Bad, bad person. I'm, oh, yeah. oh. You should pick on your dad. Look at your mother this morning. I've got, put these ridiculous shorts on that she bought me this morning. I saw that. And what they was all, that? And they all laughed at me. And then, then your mother goes, oh, they look so baggy on you. Hang on, put these pants on. Somebody sent me in some pants. Which what? are way too big for me. She goes, put these on and they'll snug everything up. Why do they have frilly knees? I don't understand these, it. Because she turned them up. So these are 38 inch waist. Yeah. I have to wear a belt or they fall off me. I'm only wearing them because she bought them for me. Yeah. She's now actually, she took one look at me this morning. She goes, I'm ordering you some new shorts. <laughs> Take them off. And I said, no, scrubby. no, you bought them. <laughs> I'm wearing them. <laughs> so I got a funny feeling some new shorts will be turning up. And that's when these go in the wash. They're actually they're gonna, gonna go disappear. The, they're gonna disappear. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, at the moment these shorts are a huge source of um, embarrassment, shall we say, for your mother. I, mean, I did walk in with them pulled right up under oh. the armpits, so the old nut cleavage and everything was nut like you know, cleavage. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Holly nearly snorted her tea when she saw me, so I I'm, well, I'm not surprised. Right, no growling in my ear all. No, shut up. Just a dog. Yeah. Bless. Bless. Oh. Typical wickle doggy that you is. You is? Yeah, that you is. <clears throat> You're too far forward, go back. I want to sit on Samantha, she likes yeah, it. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, she loves no, it, yeah. No, no, I don't like it at all. It irritates so, um, me. So, have you had the dog sit at all for... Um... I did, yesterday. I, um, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like them. Oh, do you? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, what did happen there then? That, well, they're very chilled yeah. dogs. Right. So they don't do anything, they just lie there. Sounds a bit boring, actually. And it was great, they just left me alone. Oh. And one of them just kind of sat on my lap, like for like hours, just Your chilling. Your mother's convinced that one of them, the larger one, is um, Auntie Edna reincarnated. Because <laughs> it just sat there and stared at her. She's, well, it's a gorgeous dog though. It? She it's just sits gorgeous. there and just stares at she me. She looks like a bear. But just, yeah, it just sits there. They don't, they don't lick you, they don't get a falling face. They're not like, ah, oh, just, they just sit there. 
You like, perfect dog. You wouldn't like granddad's dog then? No. I just I don't like energetic dogs. She's, oh, she's full, on, full on energetic she is. Yeah. So I usually go over there, wind her up the screaming pitch, yeah. like wind right up and then bugger and off then and leave, leave. And leave her with granddad. And he always thanks me. Thank you for winding my dog up. <laughs> you git. <Yeah. laughs> right. <clears throat> pork for dinner. Oh. Mm. I don't like pork. More for me. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Right. I thought I got them once, and then I thought I got them again, and today I found that I didn't get them at all because they got me. Now I'm going to make sure of the job. Come here. I've got a job for you. So, those of you who are keeping up will know that we shredded the green waste heap last week. And in that heap, there was at least one very active wasp nest that on the first day I thought I'd nailed. Watch the nest actually go in the machine. Uh, there was a bit of material left on the second day. And in that pile, smaller pile in one load, there was a wasp nest. I'm assuming a different wasp nest. Excuse me. Um, I put that one in the shredder as well. And I thought, that's it. Job done. There was a little tiny bit left. I mean, we didn't put the last scratchings of the heap in. Uh, thinking, well, we're going to add more to it anyway. So there was no point. About an hour ago, our straw turned up. So the guys who bought the straw off of the field from our wheat, uh, part of the deal was they bought the straw off the farm but i had six bales back and they very kindly the same as last year they offered to bring it up and they've just dropped it off for me well i knew it was a biggest tractor coming in and the biggest trailer so i pushed the bit of green waste that we had up just pushed it up out of the way thought nothing of it and then while um while i was getting the bales off wasp came in the little bugger nailed me Right on there. Don't get excited, it's just a knee, all right? So that's it. Um, I can see them out there now and they're gonna get dusted because, because they stung me. So they're gonna get dusted. Right, now I've got to be careful because I've been stung once, which means I'm marked. So there's a pheromone. When, when a wasp stings you, he also drops a pheromone off, which basically paints you as a target. So I am, um, very very attractive to wasps right now even though this was an hour ago i've left it for an hour to hopefully let this go off a bit but um if they get agitated i'm going to be target number one but they i don't know if you can see it very well but they are buzzing around that over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dust it i've got some ficam I'm just gonna give them, give them a dose. Little buggers. So I'm just trying to see where they're going in and out. Things I've probably damaged the nest, which is why they're cross. Hmm. Think. Right. Well, there's actually there's activity all over the place. They're active in there, and over there. So. The problem is I don't want to go mad with this stuff because it, it kills everything. I don't, I don't want to kill everything. I just want to, just want to deal with them because they're going to be a nuisance. If Martin comes off and tips off tomorrow or something, I don't want him getting stung by these guys because he's allergic. I, it's just a nuisance to me. It's an irritation, but to him, a bit more serious. Hmm. Right. I've got no set target to aim for. Hmm. main brunt of it seems to be in there so although I'm marked I'm going to put the camera over that area and we'll see how much we can stir them up shall we this is where I'm going to get stung again isn't it
let the action die down a little bit before I got there. So. Right, well, hopefully that's going to cure that. Um, as long as the dust gets into the queen, that's it, the nest is pretty much finished. So, But because I don't know where it is exactly, I just dusted over the area of most activity. Right, okay. So, I never got to put the last two bales of straw in properly. Um, I had the pallet set up for the first four, but not the last two. Hello. Ah, is that one of mine? Or is that... I reckon that's repairable. Hmm. We've got some of these litter pickers. Well, had some. But obviously, well, this could be one of our litter pickers. Needs a bit of TLC. So we have. It's not on top of there. We have another six bales of wheat straw. So this is our own wheat straw, came from the farm. Uh, those guys at the back there are up on a pallet. These guys are on the floor. So I'm just going to take them back out again. Stick that, came from the roofing stuff, stick that underneath just to get it off the deck. Um, and uh, yeah, well, just get it off the deck. So, right. That can go up there. And you can go, where can you go? Well, for now, there. one of those pity little jobs that could have waited but at the end of the day it would have been forgotten and then we'd have had damp coming up through the floor and not that it would do an awful lot of harm because it's far enough back in the shed but there's no membrane in the floor of this so they, they will suck up moisture all these bales are sat on old plastic wrap so there is a physical barrier between the floor and the bottom of the bales it's not perfect some of the bells will get a little bit of contamination at the bottom, pick up a little bit of moisture, um, but 95% of it should be fine. So I hope so, because this is what the cattle are eating this winter. Right. We can see how our angry jaspers are doing. Still fairly angry. 
What I could do is a long pokey stick to put this camera on the end of and I can poke you in there. How close do I get the wasps? I'm close enough, but... Was that close enough? It's close enough I was going to get anyway. I just found Mrs. P's bracelet. She said to me earlier, I've dropped my gold bracelet. This is white gold. Um, keep an eye out for it. I just put shut the gate and found it and it looks like it's been run over a couple of times. She's not going to be very happy. That would have come off when she put the bins out. Oops. I don't think it was that shape before it fell off.